Church members returning to worship today, one week after a gunman opened fire and killed two in their sanctuary and white settlement. People walked into the West Freeway Church of Christ this morning. We did see a city marshal walk in with the crowd as well. Last Sunday during communion, it was a gunman who stood up and opened fire, killing two people. A member of the church's security team returned fire, killing that gunman. The church's minister says today his message to his congregation was tough. It was the most difficult part of it today. Uh, I got up this morning and I didn't, I'm be completely honest, I didn't want to come. Uh, I knew I needed to, I knew I had to for the, for the family here, but in, you know, emotionally, if I would have been selfish, I could have said, no, I don't want to be there, but I'm going to be honest with you, I wouldn't be anywhere else. One of the two church members killed to your left there, that's Richard White. He was buried last Thursday at the funeral for Tony Wallace on the right, a deacon at the church. It will happen on Saturday. Other churches gathered today for the many of them, for many of them, the first time since Sunday's deadly shooting. And Caroline Vandergrift now, she looks at how congregations are handling people's concerns over security inside church. If West Freeway Church of Christ could meet again today, we can meet today. The deadly shooting in White Settlement didn't stop people in Fort Worth from going to church this Sunday. I, um, you know, definitely know that people are probably scared and have ideas about, you know, things like that happening, but I've always felt really safe here. Congregants at Christ Chapel Bible Church say police officers are there every Sunday, making them feel more secure. And Lord God, we also thank you for the officers in our city. We thank you for the way that they protect our city and protect us even as we worship here today. Armed security guards stood outside the Hills Fort Worth campus this morning. Every church, every synagogue needs to, I believe, take measures to keep themselves safe. Turning Point Church has uniformed police and security guards on site as well. And we allow concealed carry here. I told the church we can't let things like this intimidate us, uh, muzzle us, cause us to want to stay home and, and not uh, remain involved in our faith, but let it be something that moves us forward. Following the example set by the church in White Settlement. We want to pray for West Freeway Church of Christ. Who met to worship today in the same sanctuary where two of their own lost their lives. It's such a hard time for people not knowing who's going to walk in that door and possibly be an enemy. There's a fine line churches have to walk to keep congregants safe while also remaining open and welcoming. Many people we spoke with today say the best way to do that is to have some kind of security team. In Fort Worth, I'm Caroline Vandergriff, CBS 11 News.